Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be doing something pretty cool. But first, I want to give a uh, shameless shout out to Sanctified Supply Co. I uh, heard about you guys through uh, my brother, Bear, over at uh, Bear Independent. Shalom to you guys. Uh, we are super stoked about these hats. We will be ordering uh, more apparel from you guys in the future and uh, keep up the good work. All right, guys. So, a couple of months back, I went over to uh, my family farm and rescued a big old stack of cherry wood that had been harvested off of uh, my family's land about uh, 15 years ago and uh, spent the day running all of this stuff through the planer. So today what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be cheating on my woodworking. Anybody who does woodworking out there, uh, if you ever used a joiner today, I'm hopefully going to bypass that entire step. So the wood was uh, rough sawn and uh, we've run it through the planer and got it down to a pretty smooth finish, but the edges are not all straight and uh, neat. So I'm going to stand the boards on end on my Hudson Warrior sawmill. I'm gonna put, I don't know, five, six, 10 of them on there. And then I'm going to run the sawmill across and uh, cut all of them one edge and then flip all the boards over and cut them all to common lengths or common widths, I mean. And uh, this cherry is gonna go for the flooring in our boathouse. Okay, so uh, these log dogs really like to dig in to the wood. So when I'm ripping a bunch of these, you know, one inch thick boards down, uh, I just figured this out, but I'm gonna throw a two by four in here and it'll help keep, keep them uh, pretty dang plumb. So, all right, I'm gonna fire this thing up and uh, see how well she cuts. say it works. That's pretty exciting. Now if I wanted to, I could run them through a table saw and uh, or a edge planer and get them down even more perfect, but I, I am pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with this. So they're one by six and three quarter. Who cares if I can make a hundred boards that are six and three quarter? They don't need to be a common size. I'm the only one using them. So, all right, I am going to shut you guys off, put you guys down, and uh, do do the rest of this stack. I'm going to do as many as I can at six and three quarters, and then. Uh, if they're smaller than that, then I'll go down to whatever, four and a half, four, you know, whatever. And then uh, all the big boards over there, I'm hoping to get like one by tens out of. So, but uh, I will be back with you guys when we start uh, uh, cutting them square and uh, installing them in the boathouse. Oh, 
Okay, the cherry. Uh, I've got it all cut for the top deck. What do you think, babe? It looks amazing. Pretty fantastic. So we are not finishing our floor. Okay, we're leaving it rough. You can see right here that there's there's uh, still some of the roughs on uh, marks and the planer marks. I think it looks amazing. Uh, our boat is kind of like a barn. It's the barn boat. It's the uh, the barn house boat. I don't know. It's like the, uh, the farm farm to boat. It's the farm boat. It's the farm boat. It's the farm <laughs> to boat chic. I don't know. You guys got to help me. Help me, Kathy. Help me with the name. Nana? I don't, well, it's a uh, it's, it's the boathouse. <laughs> it's the boathouse. But listen, we've had unfinished floors before, and they honestly they come out looking amazing. All the spills, everything that you do on them, it's really really cool. It has some really good patina. Right. So we were just joking. Um, we're actually going to finish our floor entirely in sweat and carbon choke cleaner, which we use as wasp spray. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going through here and putting a gap in between the boards because yes I actually want a gap between my boards so that my floor can breathe and uh, to make it uniform because guess what uh, on the sawmill it doesn't cut everything 100% perfectly straight and I'm not spending hundreds of hours to get everything tongue and groove and no it's yeah. it's a bunkhouse it's a floor it needs to function as a floor so as long as, long as, as it can't fall through basically it's yeah good. yeah <laughs> exactly so as long as we can't lose a child. And I, I like the, the patina. It's gonna kind of look like a barn in here. What do you think, so. Isaac? I think that it looks good. Yeah, All right. Isaac approves. All right. Can I watch on it? We're gonna, no, we're gonna get back to it. We gotta finish the cruise. Look at our floor, though. Hi. There it is. So pretty. Welcome back. We are still in the middle of uh, episode three or four. No. Episode four. It's a bajillion degrees, but it's beautiful. You'll have to mind the noise. I've got the uh, compressor running and my fans are on blowing a warm breeze it's not a cool breeze it's a warm breeze through the boat what we are working on uh this weekend is uh i'm going to insulate this bad boy so we have all of our insulation r13 wall insulation i'm going to start uh stuffing it in in fact i've already started um stuffing it in <clears throat> but i'm going to try and get this insulated the other really cool thing is that uh, katie uh went ahead and purchased these little 12 volt DC fans and uh, they just run off of a solar panel so when the sun is out they turn on I can hook them up to a battery but it's crazy I mean it, it's you can't see it obviously but there's cold air coming out of our tubes so right now it's it's a uh, null and void I'm just running them to make sure that they work but uh, once we get this thing insulated and close all the windows up uh, it should stay, well, I mean, we're going to find out. We'll see if it gets cool or not. Um, if not, uh, we'll have to look into hooking up to some bigger solar panels and getting a better fan. But honestly, it's not bad. It was, uh, I think it was 102 here today. Uh, it was probably, it was probably 90 degrees inside the boat when I got here after work. Uh, with the fans and the generator running, it's uh, it's actually cooler in here than it is outside right now, and I think it's down to about 80 outside. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna put you down and get back to work. Thanks for watching.
Hey guys, help me remember that my wood stove pipe goes out right here where I left the insulation out, okay? So it's right in line with these screws on the ceiling, okay? So when I go to do my wood stove pipe, I need to do it here. In fact, I think I'm gonna lower this guy down a little bit just to give myself a little more clearance. Of course, I'll uh, box that out with aluminum and uh, you know make a uh, a trim piece to go through there so uh, looks like it's about looks like it's about nine o'clock outside but uh, I'm gonna finish the insulation today all right so <clears throat> we just got done putting all of this cherry wood in here and uh, I'm gonna get this floor finished up today but it's uh, about 92 degrees out here. Sorry guys, I got a shave while you were gone. But uh, it's about 92 degrees out here. I am soaked with sweat. So I think we are gonna take a trip down to the creek. Hey Kate, I'm gonna stay on the ball while you keep an eye on me. Oh. Nope. Oh. Give me one second. Dad, keep an eye on Kate. Oh. He can't. <sighs> Oh. Penny, stay back. Oh. Oh, that's so nice. All right, Isaac, do a jump. Alright guys, back at it. We are going to try and uh, finish our floor today. What do you think? I like, good I plan? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, just in case the sun goes down on me while I'm uh, finishing this up, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. May Yahuwah bless you. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.